Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So it's pretty muddy at the moment and when I go for walks with my wellies on and I get home, they're pretty hard to pull off. So I'm gonna make a boot jack. The first job is to come up with a super detailed drawing. With that done, I need to fetch some wood and what I've got is some ash because it has lovely straight grain and it's really strong. So it's gonna be good for this. I mark out how long I want the boot jack to be and then I can get it cut to length. And I'm gonna use the miter saw for this. Now, I actually filmed this video a while ago before I got the workshop in the garden, so that's why I'm working in here. Now, I wanna add some texture to this to add with the grippiness of it, technical term. So this miter saw has a trenching cut feature. So I get it set so it's just gonna go into a millimeter or two into the wood and then I can mark out where I want the slats to start. Now you need a little sacrificial fence to go on so I get that clamped in place, otherwise the cut won't go all the way through. And then I can start making the cuts. So I get the first one made. Then I can make a mark on the sacrificial bit a few mil from the first cut. Move the cut on the actual piece to that mark and then keep repeating the process. So I have a line of cuts that's gonna help with the grip, but also it just looks cool. So now I need someone to actually put your boot heel in. So I'm gonna drill a hole. So I get the plant stand pulled out, and then I get a fortunate bit, the biggest one I've got, fitted into it. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in the center. Now I want to make some cuts going in from near the edge to the edge of these holes. So I just mark out where they need to go and then I'm gonna get the piece put into the vise, try and get it as level as possible so the lines are actually at 90 degrees rather than the workpiece, and then use a rip saw to make the cuts. Now in the old workshop, I'd have ripped through this in a few seconds using the bandsaw, but sometimes it's fun to try new things. As those cuts didn't go too terribly, I want to taper the sides. This is purely for aesthetics, and I could have done it using the track saw to get perfect cuts, but I've got the hand saw out, so why not keep practicing? So I mark out where I want the tapers to go, and then I can make those rips as well. Now, the track saw probably would have left a better finish, and these definitely need a little clean up. So I get them in the vise, and then I'm gonna use my low angle jack plane just to clean up the sides a little. This left a really nice finish on the sides, but the bit you actually put your heel in, I can't get the plane in. So I'm gonna use the spoke shave to clean those up. And that works pretty well and I get it quite far. But to finish it off, I do have to do a little bit of hand sanding. So for the boot jack to work, it needs to be about at this angle. So I need a bit of scrap wood to go in there. And I need to cut at the angle, so I'm gonna use the miter saw. So I get that set up and then cut a little piece off the same board. Now, because I added the taper to the top, this scrap is now too wide. So I can mark out how wide I actually need it to be and then I can get the bench hook set up with a tenon saw and cut it. Again, this just needs a little clean up with the hand plane. 
Now to attach it, I'm going to use dowels. So I just mark out where I want a couple of dowels to go and then I can get back to the drill press. I'm going to set up a depth stop and then drill down on the two marks I've made. To transfer these marks to the corresponding piece, I'm going to use some of these center pins. So I get them in and then press down into the top piece. Now with those marks made, I can go back to the drill press and get the other holes drilled out. So I drilled down 15mm into both pieces, so I've got these 8x30 dowels to go in there. But before I get them installed, I'm going to keep drilling some holes and I'm just going to put one extra in here that's going to have a lanyard later so you can hang it up. So I just drill a straight hole all the way through and then I get it set up with the countersinking bit and countersink both sides of the hole just to make it look a little nicer. With that done, then I can get the dowels installed. So a bit of glue into the holes and then all push together and try and hit it home with a mallet. Now, it needed a little bit more persuasion to seat it. So I then got it in the vise and gently screwed it up until it pushed in perfectly. Treetex had sent me some of their sample finishes. So a small project like this seemed a perfect use for it. And this is just a matte finish hard wax oil. So I get that painted on and left to dry. The last job is to get a lanyard tied and I'm just using a bit of leather boot lace for this. And that's it all done. So that's it all done. Really simple thing that can be hung on the wall. Now my boots will come off easily. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.